Hey guys, in this video we'll be talking about Nakuru. And if you have been to Nakuru town and actually spent some days there, you will agree with me that Nakuru is one of the best places that you can be in. And Nakuru is one of the most accessible cities in Kenya. The town is agriculturally rich and has various attractive sites like wildlife, craters and lakes. And Nakuru is actually the fourth largest urban center in Kenya. Of course, Nakuru is the capital city of Nakuru County. Yeah, and it's also the former capital of uh, Rift Valley province. For those of you who were born before some of these names were, were changed, you obviously know what Rift Valley province is. Something interesting that we discovered about the name Nakuru is that Nakuru means a dusty place in the Maasai language, which is referring to a frequent wild winds that engulf the area with the clouds of dust. So to the people of Kitengela, just know that you're not alone. Yeah. So uh, I'll just give a few things that I found interesting or some few facts that I found interesting about Nakuru. And I hope you like them. So the first thing is about tall buildings. Nakuru does not have any tall buildings like skyscrapers. There are two reasons for this. First, uh, the area has weak soil structure and two, it has geological and seismic activities. Legally, there's a limit on the height of buildings that uh, should be constructed in Akuru as they should not be more than like three stories. But however, uh, you know, you can see a couple of buildings as you pass through Nakuru, you can see a couple of buildings that are as high as 12 story building. So the other thing is about wildlife. Nakuru has more than just flamingos. So Nakuru is like a major national park. So the other thing is also about the climate. If you can't handle too much coal or too much heat, then Nakuru is where you should be. The climate is always friendly, even when the rest of the country is freezing. In Nakuru, unlike in Nairobi, you will hardly rub shoulders with anyone as you rush to go home. The other thing is, Nakuru has various recreational facilities. These are places where you can just go and have fun with family, friends, and your bay. Uh, and the good thing is that you, can, you actually do not need a lot of money to access some of these places in Nakuru. So you can actually go for hiking with friends at the Menengai Crater, um, which is like such a nice place to hang out and chill in. Um, you can go to Hell's Gate. You can visit Lake Nakuru National Park. You can go to Lord Igaton Iga Castle and learn, learn about the castle and why it was built and where it is. Uh, you can also visit the Hyrax Hills and get a glimpse of the fossils that were discovered by the Leaky family. Okay, most of these places I actually went to and had such a nice experience like in Meningai Crater was when I was in high school. Like the Hyrax Hills was also when I was in high school. We went and studied some the fossils. One final fact about Nakuru is Nakuru hosts a guy called Kimani Maruge who holds the Guinness World Record for being the oldest student in school when he joined class one in 2004 at the age of 84 84 years you can imagine just before i say goodbye please make sure you click that like button give it a comment uh, also and you can also subscribe so that's just some beautiful and some little information about nakuru enjoy the rest of the views and the rest of the video